Hi friends, welcome. I want to start by saying a big thank you to one of my subscribers for suggesting I make a video on the hidden bunkers within Apex Legends Season 5 in Kings Canyon, and that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. Before I do that though, let me just remind you I'm doing a giveaway on the 24th of May. It's for a free battle pass for Season 5 Apex Legends. I'll do it in the form of a thousand coins. So basically, if you win, you can get those coins and go and get your pass with those coins. Or if you've already got your pass, to be fair, you could use them for, I don't know, anything else. Check the description below for more details if you want to read a bit more. Let's get into the video though, I think that's what you want to see. It's super cool, by the way, these bunkers. Before I talk about them, do you remember this scene in the gameplay trailer? Yeah, so that bunker they jump into, I actually found it on the map after my subscriber alerted me to it. And it's between Water Treatment and Skull Town, and it turns out it's actually one of five bunkers. Well, at least I found four others, but if there are more that you found, let me know in the comments below, and I'll go check them out. But anyway, this one's the most interesting because you can actually get inside it. The others I found you can't actually get inside. Um, not quite sure why yet, I'll give you some theories at the end, but let me talk you through these bunkers first. So, it turns out there's two hatches. One is a large hatch, which when you go over to it, it actually says locked. Um, not quite sure what that means, but I'll give you some thoughts in the theories at the end. There's also a smaller hatch. Now this smaller hatch is the one that opens, so once you go into it, and you will need to get into it because it's locked when you first go there, then Ultimately, when it opens up, you can use a zipline to get in and out, which um, will be there. To be able to get in, though, and open that hatch, you need to find a way to get under into the bunker. Uh, there's a few ways to do it. Obviously, if you're flying in from that direction right at the start, then you can just fly straight in there as part of your landing. The other option is to use the zip uh, tower, or jump tower as it's called. and just fly f across from where Sk Skulltown used to be, straight into the bunker. The final option is actually you could just land anywhere and go towards the edge of the map near where Water Treatment and Skull or Old Skulltown used to be. And I use this black pole thing as a marker. If you go to the edge there, you can actually just jump down. More just sort of walk off the edge. Don't literally jump because it's not that elongated, so if you jump too far, you're going to end up falling off the map and die. So don't do that. But yeah, you can just drop down, as, as you can see from how I found out as well. So that's a neat way to get into the bunker. Now, when you get into the bunker, it's cool. There's some loot there. You can see different parts around the bunker. There's also a charge tower there, so you can charge for your ultimate. There's also, it seems, every time I've been there, there's always a level 4 knockdown shield, which is the res shield obviously, which is always hidden in that room there which you go to at the end of the bunker. You have to go through the doors and it's normally just there in the corner on the left. So that's a nice little bit of loot you can always pick up there pretty much. And to be able to get out, once you land in there you need to click this button which is uh, a normal kind of activation button. You walk up to it, it's on the wall, so if you look up and see where it is um, you can just in fact activate it, it will then slowly open the hatch at the top, drop down a zip line, and that allows you to get out. And that's essentially the first bunker. It's Again, like I said, it's pretty cool. You can go and take a look. I definitely advise it. As you can see, I even made some friends, which is uh, pretty cool. Some other people just taking a casual look. As I mentioned, there are four other bunkers hidden around the map. There's one behind Market. There's one between Capacitor and Artillery. There's here. another one between Containment and Slum Lakes. And there's one on the other side of Slum Lakes. Now, all of these have a large hatch and a small and hatch. Apart good. from the last one in Slum Lakes, I could only find a large hatch. So I don't know if there is a small hatch, I just couldn't find it, or if there really is only a large hatch. Um, I don't know what the story is behind having a large hatch and a small hatch each of them and they're also all inaccessible at the moment because they don't have 
like the first one had a I side cliff entrance, the others obviously don't have that because they're not located on the side of the cliff. But let's talk about some theories. First one is they could be loot vaults. So like in World's Edge where you get those loot vaults with epic loots if you find the key for them, they c it could well be that you have to find the key and that's maybe why it says locked. You get the key, you can unlock it and go and get some amazing loot in there. That's one theory, I'm not sure if that's likely, I personally don't think they're loot vaults, um, but they might be. The other theory is that they're actually just part of the lore, and maybe they'll be part of the quests that have been introduced as part of Season 5. Let's and what could what happen is, here. because they're different quests each week, potentially as part of those quests, you'll be required to go to these different areas where the hatches are, and use them to solve the riddle in the quest and complete your hunt. Potentially it could be where the prowlers come out of and actually they're just containing prowlers that come out or it could be that you have to go there to find certain pieces of the hidden story that you're looking for as part of the quest um, you know in this broken ghost story. I think that's probably more plausible than the loot vault theory um, but we've only got a few more days to wait till the quest comes out. In fact, I think it's coming out on Tuesday, the first quest. I've already collected my treasure chest, so I'm all ready to go for that first quest. And I will post a video as soon as I complete that first quest. And I guess that will tell us which theory is correct. But I'm super excited for those quests. To, just to see, you know, what do they actually involve? I guess they're going to be kind of survival-like rounds where you just got waves of prowlers coming at you basically in the same way you had in Trials on World's Edge but, but let's see, I think it could be exciting and I really believe these bunkers are related to that but when I release that video maybe I can touch on it a bit more and confirm whether that theory was correct but for now that's kind of where we are with the bunkers there's only that one that you can access right now at the moment but definitely if you get on Go and have a look at that bunker, it's easy to get into, check it out, it's, it's actually really cool. I hope this video was useful, um, that's it from me for this video. Please feel free to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video and I'll just say thank you for watching. I'll catch you later.